Hey, good morning. July the 1st. We made it to July the 1st. Isn't that something? Already. <laughs> uh, I was reading this uh, Philippians 2 7 and the references to it today. Um, and Philippians 2 7 says, Nevertheless, empties himself, taking the form of a slave, coming to be in the likeness of humanity. And I remember I made a comment one time uh, that, you know, Jesus, he had all this glory in the heavens. He had all the all that he had uh, before the world began. And he emptied everything. Can you imagine what Christ had before he became a human, before he became in the likeness of humanity? He was here before the world began. You know, through him, all things is, is created through Christ. Uh, and God created Christ. He was the first of, of creation. He was the first of all. Uh, and I had had a guy tell me, he says, no. He says, Jesus didn't, uh, he wasn't here before he became a baby. He was, that's when he existed, was only in the form of a baby and then on. Well, I remember my dad saying something to me about, you know, when Christ, he gave up everything he had to, to be, come flesh, become uh, in the likeness of humanity. He gave it all up. Well, how can you give something up if you don't have it to begin with? So I looked that up. I looked it up. Um, Dad's always told me, prove all things. If you can't prove it by scripture, you know, don't say it. So, this morning I looked, I went, I thought, okay, I'm going to look this up to see what it was that Dad was talking about. I had to, if it wasn't in Paul's writings, I really not studied it. I don't understand much outside of Paul's writings because Paul is our evangel for today. Uh, for today, it tells us in uh, Galatians 1, 15 to 16, Paul does says now when it delights God who severs me from my mother's womb and calls me through his grace to unveil his son in me that I may be evangelizing, evangelizing him among the nations Paul was our apostle he is our apostle for today uh, and it's through a revelation that was given to him on the road to Damascus it was that revelation that this all this come together in Paul's writings Galatians 1 12 for neither did I accept it from a man nor was I taught it but it came through a revelation of Jesus Christ so Paul's writings for us today with that being said Paul's writings for us today now Jesus asked for his glory uh, from his father before the world but he asked for that back to get that and John <clears throat> John 17, verses 4 and 5. I glorify thee on earth, finishing the work which thou hast given me, that I should be doing it. And now glorify thou me, Father, with thyself, with the glory which I had before the world is with thee. So he had, he had all this glory before the world began. And he empties himself here in Philippians 2 7 nevertheless empties himself taking the form of a slave coming to be in the likeness of humanity so he had glory before he come here now he didn't he didn't ask here in in John 17 verses 4 and 5 he didn't ask for the uh, anything extra he didn't ask for anything extra to do what his father sent him to do. His father sent him uh, to come to the lost house of the uh, lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's what he was commissioned to do. He was commissioned to the nations. That's what Paul was for. That's why. That's why. Uh, that's why he said here. And uh, yet more daringly do I write to you, in part as prompting you because of the grace 
being given to me from God for me to the, be the minister of Christ Jesus for the nations, acting as a priest of the evangel of God, that the approach present of the nations may be becoming well received, having been hallowed by Holy Spirit. He was for the nations. Paul. So when Christ emptied himself, he had he had something before the world began of, of, of majestic glory of, of you know he didn't have he didn't had not seen death yet but he had all he had all all was created through him he's the first of creation first of the of the being roused from among the dead also and we will soon follow him also but anyway i've got these references here to uh Philippians 2 7. Um, and I thought I'd, I'd put that in there because <clears throat> Jesus lost, he, he had so much before he gave it all up to become our Savior. He's the Savior of all humanity. Of all humanity. So, anyway, here's references to uh, Philippians 2 7. And uh, I'll read Philippians 2, 7 again, put in these references to it. Nevertheless, empties himself, taking the form of a slave, coming to be in the likeness of humanity. For Christ also pleases not himself, but according as it is written, the reproaches of those reproaching thee fall on me. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that being rich, because of you he became poor, that you, by his poverty, should be rich. For I am saying that Christ has become the servant of the circumcision for the sake of the truth of God, to confirm the patriarchal promises. Concerning his son, who, who comes, out, uh, comes out of the seed of David, according to the flesh. For what was impossible to the law in which it was infirm through the flesh, dead God, sending his own Son in the image, in the likeness of sin's flesh, and concerning sin, he condemns sin in the flesh. Now when the full time came, God delegates his Son, come of a woman, come under law, who, being inherently in the form of God, deems it not pillaging to be equal with God. And those are the references to that. Uh, Philippians 2 7 so so there's that all right we know that uh, Jesus has only come for the lost house of Israel uh, in Matthew 15 24 he said now and he he answering said I was not commissioned except for the lost sheep of the house of Israel that's all his father commissioned him to do and he would only do what his father told him to do. That was it. John 2, 21. Jesus said to them again, Peace to you. According as the Father has commissioned me, I am also sending you. So the twelve apostles, he commissioned them to do the same thing he was doing. It wasn't to the nations. That was Paul's job. And that's why he revealed himself to Paul, to Saul at the time. But he revealed himself to Saul uh for this work that he's done in Paul's writings. That's what it is. Matthew 10, verses 5 and 6. These twelve, Jesus commissions, charging them, saying, Into a road of the nations you may not pass forth. Not to the nations. He didn't want the apostles, the twelve, uh, to go to the nations. No. And into a city of the Samaritans you may not be entering. Yet, be going rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and James, and uh, Peter, as all, and, and all, all those 12 are only for Israel. They're not for us today. Those are for Israel. If you're not an Israel, like, that's not, this. Paul's writing is not for you. It's only for uh, the nations. Paul came for the nations. So anyway, there's a side note. <laughs> I just, I, I I had looked that up because I knew that uh, he emptied himself 
if you empty himself, you had to empty it from something. And Christ, Jesus was the, uh, he was before, he was before the world began. He created, he created all through him. Uh, God, through Christ, created everything. And all exists because of him. So, so there's that. Anyway, on uh, July 1st, it's going to be a good day. It's supposed to be 105 degrees here today. So it's got, it's got some climbing to do, and I, and I believe it's going to do it. <laughs> it's going to be a great day. Get out and enjoy it. I'll talk to you all tomorrow.